Hello, Troy Ware here to talk about color by subtraction. With color by subtraction, pigments are key. Some people get pigments and lights mixed up, but the real difference is pigments are used with subtractive primary colors, while lights are used with additive primary colors. So pigments are tiny particles that absorb specific colors. Now when talking about this, you have to know the subtractive primary colors. They are magenta, cyan, and yellow. So here's an example. Red absorb complementary color cyan. Something painted red that absorbs cyan reflects red. Cyan is basically subtracted by white. Another example is saying something painted by blue absorbs yellow and reflects every color but blue. Take yellow away from white makes blue. Dyes or pigments absorb light of some frequencies and transmit part of spectrum. When white light passes through overlapping sheets of colors, all light is subtracted or blocked. Then we only have black. Various combinations of yellow, cyan, and magenta produce any color in the spectrum. Here's an example of additive primary colors and subtractive primary colors. With additive primary colors, red, blue, and green produce white. One example would be saying red and blue make up magenta. An example of color by subtraction would be if you have cyan color coming out of the fixture, you add magenta and you get blue. Hopefully watching this video makes you further understand color by subtraction and the difference between color by subtraction and color by addition.